On today's tying tip, I'm going to show you how to reinforce peacock curl using a tying thread dubbing loop. I've got a hook in the vise and I've just put some tying thread on for demonstration purposes. I'm going to take, in this case, five to six strands of peacock curl, trim away the brittle tips, and then tie in the trimmed off tips onto the shank. I'm going to pull down a length of tying thread. A manageable length, about four to five inches, is fine. If you need more than that, just form multiple loops. Long loops are hard to control when you wrap, and of course can be potentially hard on the knuckles when you spin everything tight as you hit the tying bench. So I'm just going to form my thread loop. I bring the loop up to the vertical and secure it back like a tail, and then we'll move the tying thread up and out of the way. And by forming the thread loop forward and winding back, we close the loop right tight at the hook. That way things can't slide out or around. Now, we're going to take our peacock hurl, come down, and I've stroked the left side of the thread loop together with the peacock hurl. So I'll just use my left hand here to help keep everything together. Just exaggerating some of the movements here so you can see what I'm doing. Now, you're going to take a cowbird dubbing tool. It looks like this. You could probably also use a crochet hook style. We'll just zoom right in and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. All right. So there's the loop stroke together. We come up with the open end of the tool through the thread loop around so the point of the tool goes underneath the peacock curl. And then I've got the right side of the loop on top of the tool. Now I'm going to twist and rotate the tool, bringing the point through the thread loop here. See how that thread, the point has gone through the loop and gently pull down. And I have locked that peacock curl and thread together. And now all I have to do is start spinning slowly and twisting the thread loop within the hurl. Give it a few twists to start, and then you would begin winding your body. And I often put a coating of super glue along the shank to add further reinforcement, and then twist it tighter. If you twist the hurl loop tight, you run the risk of breaking the hurl right where you tied it in, where it's most brittle. Let's get that bobbin from swinging away. So you want to spin gradually, a couple of wraps, and then wind some more and keep spinning and winding as you carry forward to form the body. Continue twisting, bring that hurl forward, up and over, tie it off, and your peacock hurl body is complete. Reinforced and ready to go. And by durable, I mean durable. Like you can, you know, you're going to remove a few fibers, but if you were to do this to regular peacock curl, you'd cut it a lot more. Just remove some of those fibers. You can see how durable that's become. And you can also do this technique with wire. You could form a dubbing loop out of wire and use exactly the same principle, and you'd have even a more stronger reinforced body. I often like just to counterwind the wire through the finished body. But there you go. That's how you can reinforce your peacock curl bodies using a thread dubbing loop.